that can, can only be described as magic. Alexander Arnold does a shot at goal on the right hand side. Ball breaks to him again. He plays it into the middle. The piece of skill for Firmino is outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. He stands on it, the ball with one foot, drags it back with the other. All of two, two, three yards right into the path of Salah, who hits it first. When I say hits it first time, he just clips it and places it into Schmeichel's right-hand corner. It's a beautiful goal, one nothing Liverpool. And it's, it's no more than they deserve. They have been the better side. But I'll tell you what, Ali McCoist, they are once again. <laughs> <laughs> no, and you know something, Jeff? You're going to hate me for this in the studio. I think they've got it right again. It's a really flat free kick from Vardy from the incident that I spoke about two seconds earlier. Amarty is just in an offside position, I think. I think he's just in an offside position, although, wait a minute, they're bringing somebody's foot into play. I think he's just offside. He goes for the ball, lads, he misses it, and it goes into Alisson's bottom left-hand corner. However, I think he's into... My own opinion is he's interfering with play because he goes to touch it. Having said all that nonsense I've just come up with, Jeff, he's given a goal. <laughs> so how can how can, how's, how's, how can I mean it's not the line. Where's where's where is it? Where's, where's the Liverpool player? The, the where's line the there. Liverpool player? <laughs> I mean, Daniel armarty has got a touch on it, but Ali. I mean, Ali. He looks a foot offside. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff. He has a foot offside, mate. Did he it's miss unbelievable. It? Yeah. Oh my! Not only is he offside. Oh. He's interfering with play, mate. He misses the ball. He gets a touch. But I think, I think a because of the position he's in, he's affecting the goalkeeper's decision. So, so never mind the sending off a shoe check. You get your head round that one for the next ten minutes, will you? But we've only got 5.30. Look, I thought Amati might have got a touch, but it seems that he didn't get a touch, so Madison's getting the goal. But I'll go. Let, let's move on. Um, he, oh! Oh, no! Steve, forgive me, I'm going to come back to that, but right now we're going back to Ali McCoy's because there has been another Alisson moment! No way. Alisson in the centre-off. No way. Jeff, Jamie Vardy's playing guitar on the corner flag. Honestly, it's unbelievable. I can't believe my eyes. It's just a simple diagonal ball over the top. Alisson comes for it. It's a complete shambles with a Quebec, the new centre-back. The ball breaks to Vardy. He hasn't scored in seven games. It's his Christmas. It's his birthday. It's everything rolled onto one. It's just a long diagonal ball. I don't know why Alisson's coming for it. I genuinely don't. I feel sorry for the new signing. I've got to say, I feel sorry for Quebec. It's the ball that he, he would play to Vardy all day, over the top. It's like, I can't believe it. I don't know what Alisson's thinking about, guys. And he gives Vardy... He just knocks it into an empty goal. What's he thinking about the goalkeeper? It's unbelievable. They've gone from been out of the game, they're now 2-1 ahead. I don't... It gets worse every time I see it, lads. Jeff, oh, dear me. It's, you thought he's two. You thought he's two against Manchester City were bad, and they were. This is up there, and I've got to say, I'm really impressed with Vardy's guitar played with a corner <laughs> flag. Great celebration. Uh, when, when, Ali says, when Ali says, what's he thinking about... He's probably thinking about those two goals against Manchester City because his confidence is shot away. He's 30 yards out of his goal. Yeah. And, and, and the new defender, Ozan Kabak, he's about to take control of the situation and then suddenly, from nowhere, this whirling dervish comes flying out of his goal and makes a proper mess of it. And Leicester having me behind, lead by two goals. We have to go straight back to the King Power Stadium where it has all gone pear-shaped with a capital P for Liverpool, Ali McCoist. Jeff, I can't believe what I'm seeing. They've gone defensively, they've gone. It should be four, to tell you the truth, but I'll tell you about the goal first. They lose possession very easily in the, in the middle of the park, Liverpool. But Alexander Arnold gets caught out of position because he's not gone in an overlap. The ball gets played by Thielman straight to Harvey Barnes, who's through. Effectively, he plays in the hole that uh, Arnold's left. Kabak can't get across to him, and it's a casual, excellent side foot finish into Alisson's bottom left hand corner to make it 3 1. But it should have been 3 1 two seconds before it. Um, and to be fair to Alisson, he makes a great save from Barnes from a similar position. But then the ball breaks to Jamie Vardy, and he's got to score. He has to score. 
but Alisson gets back across and makes a tremendous save. So that was two minutes prior to Liverpool going 3 1 ahead, eh, bigger pardon, Leicester going 3 1 ahead through a Harvey Barnes goal. But Liverpool, they just look all over the place defensively the last 10 minutes. It's incredible to see. Uh, yeah, three goals conceded in the space of seven minutes, and Leicester lead by three goals to one. And um, Liverpool, the signs behind them at West Ham and um, playing this afternoon, Chelsea. I mean, they could both go above Liverpool at the table. Liverpool could be down to sixth in the table if results go against them. Running behind at the moment, mainly due to the drama at the King Power Stadium. Leicester have beaten Liverpool by three goals to one. Three goals in seven minutes. Uh, Liverpool fans probably want to look away now because this is how the top of the table looks. Uh, Leicester up to second on 46 points, four behind Manchester City, two games more. Liverpool sit fourth in the table at the moment. Chelsea at home to Newcastle this weekend. West Ham United at home to Sheffield United. Liverpool could, could conceivably be down to sixth. And Evertonians, they'll tell you this, guys, so I'm not telling you anything you don't know. Everton are three points behind Liverpool with three games in hand. Goodness me.